Hi, my name is Chris, otherwise known as Shadow Wolf. Uh, today, I thought I'd make my first non-gun video, uh, as far as uh, reviews are concerned. Um, I had uh, recently purchased a replacement uh, for my original Navy uh, G1 flight jacket. Uh, long story short, it uh, when I got out of the Navy, they sent my stuff, my belongings home. They shipped it home, and the box that, among other things, the box that that jacket was in never arrived. So I assume that either the moving company that they employed stole somebody stole it, or it simply got left behind, never got picked up. But I doubt that because everything was together. So anyway, in my in my barracks room. So, uh, but I just received the jacket today. Um, I bought it from my pilot store um, out of Arizona. Uh, the jacket itself is made by Cockpit USA. Um, all the reviews for this jacket were really good. I didn't see any really negative reviews. Um, I saw a lot of reviews from people who are in the Navy, uh, like I was, um, saying, you know, this jacket is exactly like the one that I was issued. So I'm hoping that that's the case. Um, I have waited a while to replace this jacket, um, and so I'm really excited. Um, they, I'd been pricing them for quite some time, because there isn't just one manufacturer of them, there are several uh, ones that are actually uh, produced them for the Navy. Um, so, th and I believe this is possibly without without the tagging, probably they do, uh, I think. So whoever the actual manufacturer of, of this jacket is. So anyway, uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a review, uh, unboxing, and uh, see what we see what we have. Um, so, right off the bat, um, when I joined, when I, when I joined the Navy, when I got my original jacket, I, it was a size 42, right? And I think there's only one size smaller than that, I think it's a 38. Um, this one here is a size 60. <laughs> I have grown substantially over the years, uh, so that so I think that's that's eight sizes, not nine, nine sizes. I think it's nine sizes, uh, from forty-two to sixty. So anyway, uh, but that's so this is going to be bigger than obviously my original. But all right, so let's get started. Um, the box uh, came in a flat box. I didn't realize. I was hoping it would come in a box, um, you know, instead of a bag. I have received things in bags before, and I'm. That always kind of bothers me a little bit. I suppose they're fairly well protected from weather, but uh, luckily this I had this one delivered to my post uh, post office box, um, so uh, it was safe. Um, they sent it. I only paid for basic shipping, and they sent it uh, um, my pilot sh shop or my pilot store uh, sent it priority, which is great. That's awesome. Because uh, I, I seem to remember uh, priority being more expensive um, in when I actually purchased it. Uh, the jacket uh, was five hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, I live in Oregon, so there was no sales tax or anything like that. Um, so yeah, um, but let's go ahead and cut open the box. So let's. And I'm glad it came in a box. It just, I really, I really like that. Whoop. Okay. I'll probably do it. Yeah. All righty. Get that out of the way so I don't poke the jacket. Oh. So, uh, packing from my toilet store. Uh, packing paperwork. 
U.S. Navy issue mil spec type G1 jacket, size 60. $550. So, okay. Advertising for my pilot store. I'm really impressed at how far, fast they got this out. Um, so, I'm happy about the shipping, for sure. Uh, okay. Alright. Folded. Because it wouldn't fit in the box otherwise. <laughs> Clearly. So, I'm going to move the box out. Whoops. Okay. Comes uh, wrapped in plastic. Um, yeah, it's open at the bottom, uh, like a garment type bag. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mount my camera real quick. Get it out of the bag. So on the bag it says U.S. Navy issue, same thing. It says U.S. Navy issue mil spec type G1 jacket, six size 60. It's got the part number. It comes with a hanger, which is really cool. That's uh, another nice, nice little detail touch. Um, Spread it out a bit here. Um, wow, that is clearly real. I love that. I mean, it says it was going to be real, but the Mouton collar, the sheepskin Mouton collar, definitely real. And it's. I was a little worried that maybe it would be black. Ours originally were brown, uh, Mouton, um, and this is brown which is great. Um, these tend to uh, kind of discolor a bit. They tend to turn a, a slight shade of orange, <laughs> orangish tan, uh, because they get bleached out if you wear this in the, in the sun. They tend to get a little bleached out. But uh, there's a tag, a large tag here that's uh, looped onto the hanging loop, the leather hanging loop. So let me take that off real quick. Um, man, that is in there. Come on, buddy. Okay. Okay. Uh, that picture is clearly JFK. That's John F. Kennedy for sure, wearing a G1. But that's okay. He was a naval officer. Even if he wasn't a pilot, but he was a naval officer. But it says G1, cockpit, New York City, USA. I was pretty sure they were made in New York. A lot of them are. And then it has G1, the card has G1 specifications. It shows the picture and it shows the details. Like it points to details. And then it gives a little story of the US Navy G1 jacket, which has been around, I know, from since like 1938. Yep. And, I'll, and a picture of some pilots obviously wearing a, a G1 or a, one of the original Marine Corps guys. Okay, so that's nice. That's real nice. And then, here, let's go ahead and... It's got the proper kind of zip. Uh, kind of a... <laughs> I always thought it looked like a paper clip, but it's it's really nice. These are solid brass, obviously. YKK makes these, which is the proper. Yeah, there, there you can see it. Don't know if you can see, zoom in on. I don't know if you can see that in focus, but uh, it says YKK on the end. Man, really nice leather. I can tell. It is the proper goat skin. Leather, it's nice and pebbly and has um, texture to it. Unlike the horse, well, I mean, the horse hide kind of like it's a little smooth, smoother though. Like the A2 uh, Air Force 
jackets. Um, okay, so it's got so it's got the proper but uh, button down front pockets, no side pockets. They uh, apparently they have like a more expensive version that has those like side entry pockets, which might be nice. But I wanted one that was that was absolutely like the one I I had in the Navy, uh, and this is no side entry pockets. So, uh, oh, yeah, there's a pin, a little pin slot. That is good. Little pin slot. And you can get into it just by lifting the flap, and, you know, instead of having to unbutton the pocket top, the flap. So. Yeah. Nice, uh, knit waistband and knit, I don't know if the light's picking that up, uh, yeah, uh, knit cuffs, so let me unzip this, okay, oh, so yep, yeah. uh, so there, the wind flap, um, it is, Got the USN um, punch through it, just like it, the original. Nice, smooth lining. Very nice. So I'm going to take this. Um, out of there and then it's got some little patches here uh, this garment is constructed of genuine goat skin by cockpit and then it's a certificate of authenticity this is to certify that this garment is uh, constructed should have gotten my glasses using the highest quality materials and superior craftsmanship uh, following the American tradition as a current supplier to the military. Cockpit USA upholds the great standard and a very proud... What did that say? Oh, yeah, proud. And is pr very proud to guarantee that this garment was manufactured in the USA. www.cockpitusa.com And yeah. It's got... The uh, care, well, sort of, yeah, We've got the care and and the manufacturing details. Um, let's see. So this is another tag here. This is cockpit uh, style. The Z two one zero eight YW color brown size sixty. Cool. So let's take that off. Okay. Another tag. Now this one's on with a chain. American flag. It's in. It's a kind of an embroidered thing. I don't know if it's printed or embroidered. I think it's printed. Anyway, on fabric. Um. This is to. Another guarantee is what this thing says. I can't read it. It's too small, but I can tell it says guarantee. This garment was manufactured in the USA. So, cool. A lot of nice little details to this jacket already. Okay, and then the top tag, it's got a leather, of course, it's got a leather hanging st uh, strap there. And it says jacket. Type G1, U.S. Navy Bureau of Aeronautics, specification 7823, and then in parentheses, uh, AIR, A-E-R, Aero. Um, cockpit, New York, New York. And made in the USA, Cockpit Limited. Or limited or trademark, something like that. In size 60. So, anyway. Yeah, wow. This is gorgeous. Really gorgeous. 
and it's got a non-removable, just like the original, it's got a non-removable collar. Um, again, they have a more expensive version that has apparently a reverse or a removable collar, but I wanted mine to be original, like the original. And this is, well, I haven't looked at the back yet, but uh, here is the um, vertical uh, snap uh, pocket. These tended to be for, I don't know, to, if, if you went down and you had your sidearm, but you just wanted to have it in your jacket, I think that's the original intention of this pocket, although you put anything in there, I suppose. But yeah, so that's, but I think that's the white reason they made it this shape, so that you can fit a gun, literally, like that, you know. So, anyway, cool. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so let's flap it over. Let me flip it over here. It does have uh, underarm grommets for airflow, and they are baffled, whatever you call that. Very nice. <laughs> they do tend to weigh a little bit. This wasn't as, as ridiculously heavy, but it certainly is heavier than a fabric jacket would be. But that's to be expected with leather, especially with this quality and thickness of leather. And it's not, it's not really, really uh, stiff. Uh, it is somewhat stiff because it's absolutely brand new, but it's not... It's not ridiculously stiff. It, it, it bends. I have had and know of people saying they've had leather jackets. You literally take them, zip them up, and stand them, <laughs> and they would they would stay there. Uh, they're so stiff. Uh, mostly like those sheep lined, the shearling lined um, RAF leather flight jackets, stuff like that. So this is a buy. I think this is by swing. It's called a by swing back. Yep. For movement. Really nice. I'm very impressed. Um, let me take this in there. Yeah. By swing back. The stitching looks really nice. There's the grommets under on. Very nice. Well, I don't see. Well, let me check this back. So under the collar, there should be like this fan shape of stitches. And the buttons. Not a fan shape, but a double, kind of a W shape, whatever. It has it. Like triangles. See the triangles? There, here, and then stitched several times across to make it stiffen to, you know, help it bend, I guess. That is really cool. Um, some of them I supposedly had USN painted on here. Um, I never saw one that had that. <laughs> Maybe that was a World War II thing or something like that. Um, or, you know, before, certainly before I got in the Navy. Uh... And I joined in 1989, so. Um, and then here is the strap for closing up the collar. It's got the button to hold it down, and then you got your leather strap, and it goes across the neck, the front of the neck, to uh, get this wrapped around your neck and hold it there when it's cold. And then, of course, those are the buttons that you button it to, to do so. But yeah, real nice, real nice. Jeez. Okay, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on here. We'll see how it fits. So, here I'm going to go ahead and put the jacket on for the first time. We'll see how it fits.
Yeah, nice. Um, I hope that's far enough back. Um, so yeah, wow, already. Feels like it fits real well. Um, it's very comfortable right off the bat. Uh, go ahead and zip it up here. flap in. Nice smooth zipper. Um, but yeah, um, so I like where the waistband comes down to. Uh, my CWU45P, the Sage flight jackets, tend to ride up a little bit. Um, and those are probably about 60s like this, maybe 58, 60 size. Uh, but they tend to ride up. This one's nice and sits nice and low. Um, so um, lots of good range of movement. Can really move well in it. Um, so I'll go ahead and turn around here. Yeah, that's a that's a very comfortable jacket. Um, I thought the sleeves. I was a little worried that the sleeves might be a little too bunched up, uh, but they actually they're fine. Um, they may even be less bunched up than my uh, CWU jackets, the nylon ones, uh, and. Yeah, and they and they, but they don't they don't actually bunch up very much, not too much anyway. Uh, so I do plan to get some patches, some uh, you know squatter patches and stuff that uh, I have them I have most of them, but I do plan to put some on here. I'm not going to go nuts. My uh, CWU jackets are <laughs> they're covered absolutely covered with patches. And so they're they're kind of walk you know wear, wearable resumes of my Navy career, uh, you know which I love, but you know you don't really do that with the G1 uh, as much. Um, you're not supposed to put that many patches on these. Um, I'll put a, my squadron patch, uh, my the the last command I was in, um, and then I'm gonna have even though I have lots of uh, fabric and some leather but the leather ones that I, I have from the Navy were all the um, first of all are, are already pretty well worn but they were stamped with, like foil stamped and I want to get some uh, really nice one made uh, that's embossed and painted uh, with the wings and the name and everything um, for the name tag so I'll need to uh, get some velcro uh, to get a, a, a piece of velcro on there for that and of course the flag patch on the left arm, um, and um, yeah, like I said, squadron patch, and probably on the right arm I'll put the two primary air wings that I was uh, assigned to uh, carrier air wing eight and carrier air wing seventeen. They're both triangular patches. Um, I've already. I've already got them, I think. Uh, and then I'm not gonna cr go crazy with the patches on, on this though. Uh, I may put, I may put a ship's uh, a ship's patch. I was um, on several ships during my career. Uh, my 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 favorite. I was in I was in the Gulf War, so my favorite ship has always been the USS Theodore Roosevelt CBN 71. Um, so that's probably the patch, the ship's patch that I'll put in here if, if I do. Um, thing is, I don't want to put too many patches, and, and I have to strategically locate them, because otherwise, if you put them in the wrong place and you stitch them in, you end up stitching the pocket, the interior pocket's closed. Uh, so, and I don't want to do that. So I'm really super pleased with this jacket. Um, it's really comfortable. Uh, I... 
it, for all intents and purposes, this is exactly like the original Navy one. I, I, I can find no fault. Um, it's just, it's, it's beautifully made. It's, um, it's comfortable. It's well-sized, in my opinion. It's well-sized. And, of course, you know, somebody who's in better shape than I am, it's going to look even better, of course. Because um, these, these jackets are really meant to be kind of uh, flattering. <laughs> flattering to people, you know, young, mostly young men, at least most of them are young men. Most, most young men who were in, you know, very good shape. And I mean, when I was in the Navy, when I got my flight jacket, I weighed 170 pounds. So that probably tells you, like I said, I was wearing a size 46 uh, jacket, and this is a size 60. So anyway, um, but I'm going to write reviews, very good reviews for both the companies involved, um, both the company I bought from and the company that actually uh, produced the jacket. And uh, yeah, if, I, I believe I can do that. And then I'll get this posted. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend this jacket um, to anyone who's you know looking to replace a lost G1 or you know whatever one then maybe not lost but one that doesn't fit you anymore uh, or even if you were not even in the Navy but you really like Top Gun <laughs> I highly recommend the re recommend the uh, the uh, Cockpit USA uh, U.S. Navy uh, spe uh, I think it was mil spec uh, G1 flight jacket. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's it I can the stitching is absolutely beautiful. I can't even I can't even give enough praise to this jacket. It's just absolutely wonderful. So um, I guess that's it for now. Uh, I do think that I will make another video once I get the uh, patches sewn on. You know, the, the few patches that I'm going to put on this, this jacket. And, uh, yeah, then I'll post that. So I hope this is helpful um, and uh, helps you make a better decision because there are, are a lot of G1 jackets uh, available, a lot of manufacturers, and there's a lot of good ones, but there's also a lot of junk out there. Um, so I, I highly recommend this one. So this is Shadow Wolf 1, otherwise known as Chris, signing off, and I hope that you've gotten something out of this video, and it helps you uh, in choosing a, a new G1 jacket. Thanks.